Welcome to ERFO's training videos, supporting people to use population health data and analysis. Funnel plots are a type of graph which help to identify points which are outliers, where the local situation might require closer inspection, either because an area is doing well or because there's some indication that it's performing poorly. Each point on the funnel plot represents an area. Funnel plots are used in the ERFO tool fingertips and can be found in the indicators tab. Each funnel plot is for one indicator. You can select indicators from the drop-down menu. Let's look at the structure of a funnel plot and explain the key elements and principles. Funnel plots use a method called statistical process control, which distinguishes common cause variation from special cause variation. Common cause variation is the normal, random variation that occurs in any system, which is generally of little concern. If you like, it's the noise. Special cause variation should be taken more seriously as it indicates that something out of the ordinary is going on. It could be a temporary variation that can be explained by some special circumstance, perhaps a flu epidemic or a spell of very cold weather, or it could be a problem with a local service that warrants further investigation. The characteristic funnels on a funnel plot show the areas of common cause variation inside the funnel and special cause variation outside the funnel. A funnel plot can help you find if an area shows special cause variation. We sometimes describe this as being significantly different from the benchmark. A funnel plot shows the value of the indicator on the vertical axis against the size of the area or population on the horizontal axis. This graph shows hospital stays for alcohol-related harm. The benchmark value is shown as a horizontal line through the centre of the graph. The funnels lie on either side of the benchmark. The funnels are officially called the control limits and are similar to confidence intervals. The funnel shape is formed because the control limits get narrower as the population size increases. Funnel plots usually show two funnels. The inner dark grey lines represent two standard deviations, or 95% control limits. The outer light grey lines represent three standard deviations, or 99.8% control limits. We usually use the inner funnel to decide if areas are significantly different to the benchmark, with 95% confidence. If a point lies within the funnel, then we conclude that it's not significantly different to the benchmark. However, if it falls outside the funnel, then we can say the value is significantly better, coloured green, or significantly worse, coloured red, than the benchmark. Sometimes high or low values can't be interpreted as good or bad, and we use blue to colour areas that are significantly different. More information on statistical process control and funnel plots is available in the PHO Technical Briefing No. 2. Remember, indicators only indicate. They require you to investigate further to see why there might be an issue. We hope you found this video useful. Please let us know whether it met your needs by sending us feedback. Take a look at our other videos or visit our website for other resources.